How are you all doing? What we're going up to in this video. Okay, so somebody did come up with a brilliant idea in the comments. Like, we're thinking this one is bad. This one is good because it's sparking, obviously. Look, somebody came up with the brilliant idea of why not just take the terminals off the good one and put them onto the bad one and see if that does any good. And if it doesn't work, then we know this one is knackered. So let's get these. Well, I would have to get this coil out to get that terminal. So let's get this all undone and swap the terminals over. So that's the uh, terminals on. Let's see if we can get a spark now. Hopefully you can see that. Press that on there. Put the ignition on. <coughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. This I put my finger on it and this I put my finger on it and press the start motor. there whatsoever. Uh, I have found the number two and three coil on eBay for a 1988 CBR 1000F so that should be here shortly hopefully in the day or two. I did also get a comment about the uh, battery when I was charging the battery up. Like somebody said it should not be charging at 16.5 volts or something because it will fry the battery. It would even fry a car battery at that rate. Which uh, got me pretty worried and concerned that I've fried my battery. And also on the previous videos you notice the edge hasn't been spinning over briskly. That's because I haven't been using the battery. I've been using this power pack. All the video footage I've done I've just used this power pack. I just put the battery in this morning. I did have it on charge last night for seven hours. Uh, I've got my multimeter. see how many volts we've got in this battery. I'll press that one on there, that one on there. We've got 12.9. It was 13 point something when I was in the uh, kitchen. That's 12.9. And that's been holding charge since last night. But I must admit after a few days the charge just just disappear even though I'm not touching the bike. But I have heard that these gel batteries are, are not very good in the winter. They don't like the cold. So maybe it's something to do with that, I don't know. Anyway, let me try and show you how brisk it's turning now. Put the key on. So I don't think I've fried my battery. 
So yes, it just goes to show don't take your comments too seriously and have sleepless nights like I do. So I'm going to wrap up today and then hopefully when my new part comes we'll be all hunky dory. Okay then, so let's get this open. Who sod this? Let's get a knife. Wash your fingers, Johnny. Yeah, it might look short, but it's not. What is wrong with these people? Oh my god. That is not for a CBR1000F. It hasn't even got the right caps on it. Are they going to fit down there? No. They should be like that. Well, very disappointing. I am uh, going to get onto eBay and send the crap back. And I'm not going to pay the postage. Right then, welcome back. Moving on a few days. God, what have I been up to? Been out on the local park chasing rainbows. And having great fun with my dog doing parkour. Also, I've opened a case to send them uh, coils back to the seller. I know I was going on a bit about eBay, how bad they are, but uh, in all honesty, it was the seller's fault. Nothing to do with eBay. So, anyway, I've got my refund. Right then, so it looked like my luck is changing. A YouTuber contacted me, one of my subscribers, and says they have a spare one if I want it. So I obligingly said, yes, please. And over a week later, Turned up in the post. Hey, <laughs> but cheers, buddy. I know you don't want your name mentioned. You want to keep it in private, and I'll respect that. But uh, I can't resist the urge to put a little photo up of you. So yes, cheers, shitty. Much appreciated. And he sent it first class, special delivery, tax free. Anyway, all joking aside, let's get it in. Okay then. So jumping forward, quite a bit. Yep, we've gotten all the coils back on, got them all back together, got the plugs in. Uh, I've been charging the battery again, because this is a few days later. Let's just check what charge we've got in the battery now. That's which we've all to be tried first, haven't I? Thirteen point one, now that's quite good. Now all I've got to do is connect the wires up. Seems if I leave the wires connected, the battery goes flat. But I have had that before on my uh, green and yellow CBR1000F many years ago. It was because of the uh, voltage rectifier thing, but I think on this one it's a different, different type. The other type was like this. So anyway, let's get the battery connected and uh, get some fuel set up and then try and start this baby up. But I did have another comment uh, because it's been standing for a few months. The reason why it wasn't ticking over properly was because the uh, pilot jets are probably blocked and gummed up. I'm not really concerned about that at the minute because they are all brand new jets, brand new seals. So yeah, anyway, let's crack on. Right, so that's the battery in. Uh, got some petrol in. Just gravity fred. Gravity fred. Gravity fred. Just gravity fed. So, uh, 
sit you down over here and uh, let's see what happens when we try to start the bloody thing. Choke is on, ignition's on, starter motor, press the starter switch. Uh, don't sound too brisk, does it? Fuck it now. No, that doesn't sound too clever, does it? So, uh, be with me and I'll be back when the mood gets me. Okay then, so we're back. Glutton for punishment. Got the uh, jump back on. Let's try again. Whatsoever. Come on, little baby. Absolutely nothing, my friend. We've got a spot plug anyway. We've got a bit of metal. Should we get a dead spot? See the spark coming off that. Yeah, it's definitely sparking. See a bit of a spark. Just using that little file metal. Yep, we're all sparking. I don't understand why it's not firing on. Oh 
give up. Well, I think that's about it. It's beaten me again. Ain't got a clue. I've had a spot plug out. It's wet. All right. What are you after? Yeah. What are you after? Glue. Glue? I haven't got it. <laughs> no, I haven't got it. Well, I'll have a look in a minute. Okay, I'll put it here, it didn't stop. Oh, I don't know what's the bloody wrong way. No. I don't know if it's not, pet petrol's not getting through or something. I don't yeah. really know. It's okay. got a spark on all the, every plug. Mm. Is, that, is that a 2004? No, that's X Trail. Number plate, what oh, used to be on the trailer. Oh, right. Anyway, I'm going to give up. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I didn't. So, yes, anyway, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you on the next one. See you in another life, brother.